Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a pop-up campaign on Privy. Have you noticed any pop-ups on a website that ask you to sign up or to avail their promotion? These are the light pop-up and it's a web form that appears on top of the web page that you're viewing. When it appears, the website is darkened in the background so that the form stands out. It removes all other distraction, so there's only one clear call to action in view on the page. With the light box pop-up, the rest of the screen becomes darker and the user's eye automatically goes to read your message and view the email sign-up form. This makes it perfectly clear what the user should do next. Pop-ups are most commonly used for capturing email addresses. However, they can be used to display any call to action such as like us on Facebook or use this coupon code at checkout. Once this tutorial ends, you will know how to create your own pop-up campaign on Privy. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. To create a pop-up campaign on Privy, you need to have an account on Privy first before you can use their service. It's easy to sign up, just use your Google account if you have one. Sign in to your Privy account and on the dashboard, click the new campaign button. Name your campaign, it can be anything you want, but I recommend that you put in something that you can easily recognize. You will then be directed to the pop-up creation wizard first step is the form. This is where you can add the form fields that you want to collect from your visitors. Just click the form fields and there are a couple of customization available. You can click the add a field and select the attributes that you wanted to add. You can also set the fields to be required or not. It is up to you if you want to set some validations. You can either limit one per email address new contacts, or set a supply limit. Just click the Save Changes button to confirm the changes. Click the Next Step button to proceed to the next. The second step is for the design. This is where you can choose if it is for a pop-up, banner, bar, embedded form, or a landing page. So let us select the pop-up since this tutorial is for a pop-up. There are a couple of templates that you can choose from. Just select the one that you prefer and click the Choose Selected button located at the top right. You will be taken to a page on where you can edit the design for your pop-up. This is just a simple drag and drop. Click the text to edit and click the Save button on the top right to save the changes. If you forgot something, just click the pop-up design to edit the pop-up design one more time. You can also customize on when your pop-up would trigger. The tab is where you can edit the little button to trigger the pop-up. You can also edit your thank you page by clicking this last item. You can change the text, change the background, adjust the tab size, and even add confetti in the background. Once you're all set, Click the Next Step button to proceed to the next. The third step is Behavior. This is where you can add a coupon code if you have one, schedule your campaign, or be notified once somebody has signed up for your campaign. Click the next item and just edit the selection. Once everything is set up, click the Next Step button to proceed to the next. The fourth step is emails. This is where you can set up your autoresponder email. Click the autoresponder and you'll be directed to the email editor. Edit your responder email, change your business name, edit the text, the color, alignment, and etc. Once finished, click the save button to confirm the changes. If you want to add a new email template, just click the add email button. Click the next step button to proceed to the next. 
The final step is automation. This is where you will link your campaign to your e-commerce website. Click the new rule button and you'll be directed to the link account page. Link your account here. For my case, I'll link it to my Clavio. Once you've successfully linked the accounts, go back to the main dashboard and select the campaign. Go to the Automation tab and click the New Rule button. Select the account and the list, then click the Save button. It is up to you if you want to require a double opt-in. Click the Publish button to launch the campaign. You will then see the campaign is already active on the main dashboard. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the steps on how to create a pop-up campaign on Privy. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!